Hey guys, come on in. Come on in to JG here. Jim Bounds at Motorhome Rehab Ranch, and uh, this is this is my uh, mobile midlife crisis. As a new ranch hand uh, just came up with, that's a good one. This is my mobile midlife crisis. It's just kind of been hanging around for about 20 years. You know what I mean? Got stuck. <clears throat> but if this is your mobile midlife crisis, or maybe you just wanted to start early or uh, start late, that's all good. I'm welcome that you're here. <clears throat> and getting off the road, you guys saw, yeah, really, uh, it affected me for a little while. I had to, uh, I had to kind of regroup a little bit. That took a lot of energy out of me and a lot of enthusiasm and stuff like that. So, uh, and, and I suggested, said, let's do some indoor sports for a little while. Let's talk about some interior things. And, and, and uh, I noticed that uh, several of you guys had called and said that you're at that point. You know, you've taken the interior out or you're, you've, you've started to say, okay, I'm going to go after the interior. <coughs> that through the fall, we've been work, working on getting the outside sealed or at least getting it uh, either indoors or under a shed or something that uh, anything that we do on the inside uh, uh, won't have a, a problem on deterioration because it gets wet. Now, so, some of the guys say, well, I'm going to make the interior out of stuff and it's going to shed water. Dude, what are we talking about here? You're in a boat, sailboat or something. You, you need to have a certain amount of integrity in the body, all right. And if you haven't done that yet, I would I would really recommend to do that. And we're going to talk a little bit about preparation on doing an interior. But you really need to feel that it's 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 uh, sealed. Hey, some people have thrown a big piece of plastic over it. Hey, man, I'm good with that. You know, it just you. You know, some of you guys up north, I mean, <clears throat> you don't hear it right now, but we're inside JG, and I have a 24,000 BTU fire-breathing furnace digital thermostat on the wall. Yeah, baby, we're warm in here. Remember, we talked about that. You know, say, well, why would, why would you want to have a furnace in you live in Florida? Because I want it to stay hot. Yeah, I like it warm. I think I've got it set on... Uh, 75, something like that. Oh, and think about something a minute. You know how the furnace is usually back there in the bedroom. They say, well, you know, it distributes the, the air and stuff. Yeah, I'm thinking about it a minute. Wait a minute. I like to be up front in this thing. And, and you know, when you go to the bed, it's, it's, it's more like, you know, you're, you're, uh, you're retreating. And you're kind of getting in a little cocoon back there, you know. So, you know, I'm thinking about this. I put the, the thermostat up front, you know, where I am. I want it to change. Now, what it does, it'll change. It'll, it'll cool down. It'll heat up. You can actually feel the two-degree difference. And if you want it on one temperature, that's one thing. <clears throat> but I kind of like it up, up uh, front. And I can look up here and see that it right now is 71 degrees. I guess I have it set at 73 because at two degrees, it will turn on life-giving heat i love it you know anyway that's not why we came here to talk about you guys have the interior stripped out now please don't stop don't stop don't stop you see so many coaches and you find them. you may even have one that the guy took the interior out oh yeah we're going to take care of this we'll move this out move those seats unbolt that so get it out of here and then he turns around and goes, oh, my God, what is, and he gets lost. And there's so many coaches that are at that point, you know, ready for interior kind of a thing. Uh, and you can pick them up cheap because remember this, until it's done, but until it's viable, until you can sit here and enjoy it like I am, it, it doesn't have much value to anybody else, okay? So until it's done, it's really a work in progress and a work in progress has very little value. So a coach that you have stripped on the interior, ready to be built, you're not going to get much for that because in a way that's the easy part, the fit and the finish. <clears throat> There's more money 
when I say money, there's more time, there's more labor involved in the fit and finish, the material selection, uh, how to put it together, the clean, the, the look of it. There's more labor involved on interiors than there is in mechanical by far. You know, one of the, the coach to me, if you're looking to buy a, uh, a survivor, I would want one that you walk in, it just knocks your socks off. Very, very nice. The outside looks very nice. Got Alcoa rims. But the tires are over 10 years old and not one screw mechanically turns. Okay? Why? Because to get that back up to a quality where you can really enjoy it and stuff is going to cost much less than if you took that stripped motorhome that had no interior and you're going to build an interior in it because you're going to obsess over one little corner to make something just fit. Okay? So you think about this now. <clears throat> We haven't really put a lot of uh, stress on interiors, but dude, you got to have an interior. <laughs> I've seen some coaches at rallies, and uh, you know the guy, he's the first one to get this and that, and uh, uh, double this and bogey greasers and everything else. But you go in his coach, and the thing is just a wreck on the interior. And I do understand that guy. Look. I, in a minute, we're gonna. I'm gonna show you some stuff. Mine's falling apart too. Mine is a survivor, and I am someone that is obsessed somewhat over mechanical, but the interior in this coach, again, this is a it's a survivor coach, but uh, previous owner uh, Jim Greer now passed away, uh, really did a fine job at integrating an original interior. And added some uh, some wood extras. He's a woodworker uh, in Greer, South Carolina, and he did some some fine work. And there are a lot of survivor coaches out there that are like this. Okay, I mean, uh, there's a lot to. It depends on where you're going. It depends on where you want to take it. If you want it to be like we were doing at Clasco back in the early '90s, we wanted to make them look like Gulfstream jets. You know, real. Uh, uh, real slick, real executive looking. Uh, if that's what you want to do, then then by all means. And uh, I can help you do that. Uh, but understand, uh, that's going to be the more pricey interior. Uh, why? Because the fit and the finish is going to be more critical. Uh, and to be honest with you, I my coach, JG here, I'm not on that critical side. Okay, I'm on kind of the, the homey side. You know, uh, I, I uh, well, Janie and I live in a 100-year-old house, so all the interior is all wood grain, so I love wood, you know. So to me, I want to make uh, that midlife, mobile midlife crisis. Thank you, brother. I thought that's a great one. Uh, in kind of a cabin feel, uh, kind of, you know, uh, uh, that's 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 what I was going for in this in in this survivor restoration. How's that? And there are some things that we want to do. If this is the direction you're going, you want to build the interior to your own specifications. Yeah, something different. Every <laughs> isn't it great? You go you go to a hot rod show and some guy says, "Yeah, I want to come up with something different." You think anybody really wants to be normal? I mean, you know, somebody always wants to be distinctive. And at GMC, boy, it gives you that opportunity to be distinctive. And that's the truth. Uh, uh, this, this interior that, that Jim had put together, I was able to do a few things, the, the curtains, and, uh, uh, and I was able to uh, accent what he had done. And if you've got a coach that does have an interior that the, that the uh, uh, previous owner really obsessed over, you may not want to throw the baby out with the bathwater, okay? You say, well, you've got some really great ideas. Okay, before you take it apart, now I say take it apart, there was a lot of fit and finish labor material put into what he has in there. And there was a lot of thought put into it. Okay, so before you take it all out, uh, let me pose to you an opportunity. 
uh, at this point, we're at the point saying, because here, <clears throat> I forgot one thing I want to show you. Come on down here. Uh, I, I uh, uh, got weak and went on social media. And uh, it, was, it was wonderful because I saw that a guy uh, on social media was at this point right here. I'm not sure if he's one of the guys I talk, I've been talking to, but here, this guy is, is at that point right now that uh, he's got the floor rebuilt. Uh, this is a late model coach because can, I can tell by the side panels, but he's got the step rebuilt, sealed in. Okay, and he's once he he said this week he's going to start to uh, uh, build out. Okay, that's a great thing, and that's exactly what I've been talking to you guys about. So I thought if it was okay with him that that I would use this as a series about taking your coach. Now that we're inside, right? We're warm, and we can talk about interiors. Let's take an interior. This can be yours. And this is where we are. Okay? In the front, this is where we are. All right. Now, this is not where we are right now. Here, have, have a seat up there. This is where I'm at. This is my coach. And I'm at a point that I can enjoy it. Is it in great shape? No, no, it's not. Here, I'll, I'll give you an example. <clears throat> my side panels are coming apart right here why is that remember this is a survivor and this is actually an original side panel that it had been built onto but at this point at 50 years what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to back up this looks real good and I can add to it but I'm going to need to back up a little bit Okay, and I'm going to need to fix what has caused this water damage right here. Okay, yeah, you, you notice this is one of my, uh, uh, this is actually the first prototype of the full window, and I hope I have this again. But if you look at this window over here, this is an original window. This plastic trim has been taken off. Okay, now this is a 73. These guys tried to put in some plates and seal the bejesus out of it around through here. But as you see, there was water damage here. They did not have a good indication as to how to seal that window. Because the, the specification was the window is recessed, kind of Frenched in. So the idea is you didn't want to, you know, from the factory, you didn't want to seal it from the outside like that. You wanted to French it in and seal it from the inside. And they didn't really do a good job of that. And that's why a lot of coaches, you'll see some damage right in here. Okay? Yeah. If you think about it, the guy uh, in the picture has got these panels out. <clears throat> Headliner cap, I believe, is still in. Yeah. Think about this. You can, but, by the way, I was digging around in JG and check this out. This is one of one of applied uh, uh, GMC's uh, original 355 slash 370 final drive hats. Pretty cool, huh? Hey, Jim, look what I found. Let me get back to it. So if you think about it, the front of this motorhome from right here, right through here, is the first consideration because that's in the front. Make sense? Now, you can, you can gut the whole coach, okay, but let me propose an idea. If you take your interior, this is the original interior, and I'm going to go through it, <clears throat> and you split it right here. Because What I did is I just put a genuine simulated black gator uh, panel right here, and I just screwed it in. I could do a lot of different things to finish it off, but when that's taken down, and that right there... You front do the front consideration. Okay? Now, this panel right here 
is a very important panel. You can see how, how this panel comes up to here, this tucks into here. You see what I'm saying? Right here is a belt line. This is on a GM floor plan. There's a belt line here. So that belt line goes all the way to the door, which says there's a lower panel below the belt line, and then there's upper panels. Okay? So, problem when they built these things, they put the dash in, put this panel in, and then stuck that panel in it. If you want to get that out of there, how are you going to do that? Well, one of the things that I built way back, and I sent patterns, <laughs> was this. Okay? This pattern has every angle in it. You're going to need to do the whole wall, the whole coach, all the side panels, all the upper side panels right here. We're going to talk about this piece and how you can make one yourself and stuff where this is going to go. But once you split the coach right here, then we're going to work on the front end first, and then we're going to work on the back end. Okay. All right. Well, here, sit down and let's talk a little bit more. I want to, I want to explain a few things. So, the first consideration is, we say the front. Why the front? Because if this is a motor home, there's a motor under here, okay? And it's hot, and it's noisy, and it's smelly. And when wind blows up in there, it wants to come in, okay? So when you're going down the highway, <clears throat> under here and on that firewall, it's, it's a hurricane inside. There's a high-pressure zone in there, and you have a low-pressure zone in here. So any small penetration in that firewall will be air spewing in at you, sound spewing in, okay? So, with your coach in this position, and by the way, I'll have uh, this picture uh, uh, below so you can print it out. But when you have it in this position, you want to look from the inside. Matter of fact, I would also take out the side panels. Uh, I would go ahead and pull out both of these side panels because what we want to do is going to start at the dash and come back. And the first thing we want to do is to seal all of the holes. I did a video about this, and this will, this will be in uh, the archives and stuff like that, about it. And this is going to reinforce it. And I want you to watch that video and then come back, and our next video will be talking about where we take it from there, because I didn't do that. We talked about sealing the holes and and the insulation. So let's do this. Let's pull the side panels. Let's get all the holes sealed in the firewall and anything that you see light through there. And if you see light in the corners, we'll talk about that in, on the next video on, on the, uh, I guess, episode two. Uh, so the takeaway on this is if we, all you guys that are at this point, cool, that's fine. You've now said that you and your coach are going for basically an interior, uh, uh, you call it restoration. Uh, you may be doing some survivor work, which as I do this series, I'm going to go through JG and I'm going to do some survivor work. I'm going to keep some of the things that they did because they're really good but I'm going to add to them and update like the wall panels that are falling apart and things like that. So you'll see those kind of things. The first thing, though, is to get her sealed, is to get her sealed. All right? Great. Well, thank you. Um, as you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm over the trip. I'm uh, at our, our uh, 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 ranch, I mean, JG, and... Uh, we're at the next point. One other thing I wanted to talk about, right? You've heard if you've got a survivor, if you're a survivor. Now, again, we're at a point where either you 
you have things you want to save or it's been gutted out for you or you've done that and that's fine now we're at this point right now and i've talked basically all of you guys need to take the front end and get a seal but let's talk for a second about the survivor folks okay which is which is me and you'll see me take this coach and do a survivor restoration on it uh, uh, one of the considerations that i know is in the back of your mind and said oh man what about these bowed floors? What about, you know, uh, problems? The question's always, it's not what to do, it's how deep do you want to go, All right? Now, JG here is a, is a uh, uh, mid-year or late-year 73, and it's a good one to talk about, well, do I have to gut the whole interior and go to a flat floor and gussets and, and uh, uh you know, a uh, high density floor and all this. No. Okay. If you're a survivor guy. Okay. Now we've talked about a bowed floor. All right. Now I, JG is going to be the lab rat. And when we do have the gussets available to bolt in and to pick it up, we are going to do it to this. And we're going to see what happens. This is our lab rat. Okay. But right now I'm not going to change the floor and I'm going to show you about uh, uh, where you make a decision. It's not what to do, it's where to stop. All right, so come on with me here. Come on to the back. Now, uh, you say, what about this bowed floor thing? All right, so you back up a little bit now. Uh, I'm in the hallway, and this is the GM floor plan. These two walls right here are designed to be parallel. Why? Because when this door opens, the bathroom door, it hits down there. You can see there's no, no gap. And as it comes up, it opens up to a gap. Yeah, I could force it, but why do that? This is what we're dealing with. All right. <coughs> now, what we're going to do with JG is we're going to deal with that. All right. I'm going to go ahead and build everything around it. It can't be perfect. Remember, this thing is a tube going down the road and it's flexing. So where, where are your tolerances? I was working one time for an architect that wanted everything within an eighth of an inch. And I told her, couldn't do it. I ended up uh, uh, stopping the project because I just couldn't get through her head that this thing is a mobile device and it's moving. And to get within an eighth of an inch is, is um, counterproductive. Okay. So right here, this shows you that I do have a boat floor. Am I going to go all the way back? No. No, I'm not. So make your indication. Measure from there and measure up here and see how much of a difference you have. Okay. Uh, if it's excessive, you may have to, to do some things. Um, but if it's, if it's within a tolerance of this, I can put my hand in it here, and about here, it starts to hit. If you've got that much tolerance, I'd say go with it. Because to change that, in the future, we may have a gusset kit that will pick it back up. So if, if you do all your measurements to this wall and to this wall, and to that tolerance right there, possibly when we straighten it up, it'll be in good shape. All right. Well, look, man. <clears throat> thanks for coming. Thanks for spending a few times, a few times uh, here talking about interior. Um, I want to uh, follow me on this. I want to show you ways to go through an interior yourself, not with a team, not with a crew. Now, if you do have a crew and you want to kind of follow, that's fine. Put me in the loop. Yeah, I'll talk to them and, and kind of move it uh, a little quicker. But I'm going to be doing it as a do-it-yourself um, uh, in my coach. A couple of things. Th this is going longer than I want to be. Hang with me, guys. We're going to be putting in a new microwave. Uh, in its day, this was a good microwave, but you can see it sticks out a lot. And there were a lot of modifications that were done here in this in this kitchen that uh, we're going to look into. So I'm going to do this on uh, on video during the winter. This is warm in here. I'm not going to make. I'm going to make sure the furnace does not cut off at any time. 
So we're going to be doing a lot of things on the interior here in JG, and you guys can follow with me, all right? First thing, get her sealed, okay? Get the caps off, get the side panels off. Let's get all that stuff sealed, and let's start working toward the back. In future episodes, I'll show you how to build your, uh, your panel, your pattern, uh, and what this material is. So stay tuned. A lot of stuff to talk about. Hit like, uh, share, subscribe. Ranch Hands, thank you very much. And you guys can help me to support doing this. You want to see this interior come apart and go back together by one person? Let's do it. All right? Thanks a lot. And we'll see you next time.